It is my pleasure to present the full flight program today. This actually is not a presentation at all, but it's a sort of declaration that uh, BSNA and ANA will go to propose because it's a, for us it's an historical day actually because we are going to prepare and to propose you the new ATM systems for French and Italian airspace users and also for the traffic controller to be used. We are pleased to announce us that ENAP and ESNA at the end of February defined two coordinated national framework agreements with Thales and Salex Systeme Integrati, respectively, to develop common ATM system of new generation based on co-flights. The two contracts are synchronized and have as a common goal to put in operation the future ATM system by the year 2015 in en route centers and approaches. Starting from one single operational concept, ENAV and DSNA made strategic analysis on how to improve their performance in terms of safety, capacity, environmental impact and cost efficiency to face the traffic flow expected for the incoming years and have decided to modernize jointly their respective ATM infrastructures. To achieve this important goal, DSNA and ENAV have launched the Four Flight program. Four Flight is a 10 years program aiming, aiming to defining together the future Italian and French ATM systems, service oriented compliant with the single European Sky 2 regulations and the Cesare ATM master plan. Four Flight actually was launched in the year 2008 with the signatures of the first DSNA and ENAF cooperation agreement a year in Amsterdam after the successful technological cooperation between ENAF and DSNA to develop CoFlight, that is the flight data processing system of the next generation. With these systems, Flight trajectories, flight trajectories will be precisely modeled and timely updated with flexible airspace management capabilities. Upcos and traffic controllers will be provided with more accurate and realistic flight views and also warning in case of trajectories deviations. The traffic controllers will be able to take better tactical decisions allowing pilots and to fly closely to their business trajectories. Which way for flight is structures? It structures in two main steps. The step one is the CESAR baseline system. It's actually the first operation of versions of new product based on co-flight. In this baseline, all CESAR IP1 related components will be available, as defined in the European ATM master plan. It will be delivered by 2013, and put in operation by 2015. The step two is a SAR compliance system alignment to the all the future operational requirements that will be defined, will be defined in the IP2 of CSR. This will be achieved through incremental versions for 2015 up to 2020. At the basis of this decision stands a feasibility study, including a business plan and a cost-benefit analysis that has shown clearly a significant reduction of cost of the overall Franco-Italian investments with a positive impact on the network users and the possibility to better manage risks thanks to DSNA and ENAF complementary expertise. And I'd like to take the little floor to, the floor to Mr. Thierry Lebas from DSNA. Thank you, Thierry. Thank you for the handover, uh, Massimo. So I will speak on behalf of Maurice George, CEO of DSN. So the first important phase of four flight is now over. ENAV and DSNA completed the convergence to a unique set of user requirements, of interfaces, operational and technical aspects, and particularly to common safety objectives and a single functional hazard analysis. This is a fundamental pillar and a major strength of the program, paving the road towards the European interoperability. 
The involvement of end users is one of the main innovations with respect to the past programs. Since the beginning, Italian and French ADCOs and ADCEPs are working together as main actors. A joint organization was specifically put in place, the so-called EDOPS, ENAV, DSNA operations, under the tiering of the ACE of operations. This EDOPS is also being involved in all the whole product life cycle until the transition to operations. This approach is ensuring timely and efficient acceptance of concepts, of needs, requirements, and at the end, acceptance of the delivered system. From a technological point of view, the baseline of ForeFlight is composed of a common flight data processing system namely CoFlight, which is also common to three NSPs, of a common middleware, which is CORBA-based, and offers a service-oriented architecture and standardized external interfaces, for instance, for surveillance, for interoperability, and for also exchange of aeronautical data. Four flight will be at the core of DSNA, ENAV, Thales, and Celex Cesar industry based platform. Co -flight, for flight sorry, will be extensively used for Cesar validation exercises, to which DSNA and ENAV operational teams will participate jointly. Possible additional common components are currently assessed and will be seen as an opportunity to accelerate the convergence to a single ITM system. Cesar outcomes will be further integrated to ForeFlight. ForeFlight is the first concrete example of a cooperation among NSPs to develop a Cesar compliant ATC system. Interested no longer in national tailored solution, but that looks forward to European scale interoperable ATM product. This passes through the convergence to European user requirements sufficiently wide to fit with a minimum of adaptation to other ISPs. This is for flight. Today it's a French-Italian cooperation and the door is well open to other partners. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, uh, on the press release we said that the for flight is uh, ready for takeoff. But we have to say it is clear for takeoff, of course. <laughs> it's even better. I, I, I'd like to leave the floor if any question could be posed to us. And then, first of all, I'd like to thank the Director General of Euro Control to be here with us. I believe, David, that it's actually it's a very important day for all of us, for the network, first of all, but of course for ENAB and the SNA. We believe that uh, we are demonstrating that together we can settle both technology and concept collaboration together to, to allow smooth and, and uh, absolutely seamless operations in, in, in Europe. And the message is also that technology now allows all of us with a clear concept of operation to apply good technology, interoperable technology to be adapted to lots of different systems. And I'd like also to thank Thales and Celex System Integrated Top Management to be here to support us in this will be a very good, interesting, and challenging travel to, 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 to have together. And we are fully convinced, not confident, but convinced that the travel will be successful for all of us, for the benefit of all the users at the end, that, that is the passenger. We do not have to forget that everything, as you know. So the floor is open from some 
uh, questions, just uh, time constraint, but I believe that Mr. Artoni could, could say something to us. May I put a question uh, without a, uh, a microphone? Uh, I would like you to tell us what will be, which will be the main advantages for the users, including particularly the end users that are attached to us, when, in what time frame? We have two users, we have to, we, we'd like to say. First users is the traffic controllers. Uh, that it's not to, to be forget, to, to forget. Uh, we, we need to understand that the concept operation that we try, we are trying and we will succeed to apply is the way in which the workload could be decreased for the traffic controller to increase capacity, maintaining the safety at, at the utmost level, of course. For the end users, that is the passenger, in times is uh, capacity that means punctuality and also flight efficiency because we are going to save mileage fuel consumptions and of course emissions. This is the main goal, what the feasibility study demonstrate to us that is in line with the Single Sky 2 orientations and the master plan also decided to. In the time frame, I believe that Thierry could say something about this. Thank you, Massimo. You, you hear me? Okay. Yes. So about the time frame, uh, it has been mentioned by uh, Massimo, we have the objective, and it is a strong objective, to have a delivery 2013 of the system to be put into operation two years after. And two milestones must be also added to that. It's a milestone relative to co-flight. Co-flight, which is a major component, as I have mentioned, of four flight. A new uh, version, first version was delivered in 2009. It was the first version composed mainly of the infrastructure, the distribution of information, if you like. And the second version will be de delivered end of this year to be integrated in the four flight system. I hope that this will answer your question. Thank you, but just a, a simple question. Are there any figures about uh, the amount of the advantage? I mean, uh, I understand that you increase capacity, so you increase the efficiency and also the flexibility of the system. But uh, is there any kind of figure available? Yes, we actually have, but at the moment I'm, it's not up to my mind, but uh, actually we can have also some figures in saving in cost for uh, NSPs, that means the saving in, the, in, in, in fees uh, for, for the end users, for, for the airlines of course, but we have to imagine that the amount of traffic that we are going to, man to be managed in the next 20 years, so we, we are fully confident that by 2020 we could manage the double of traffic with no delay. This is the advantages that you take, take into account. Any other questions? Oh, thank you very much. Well, that means that me, Thierry and me was quite clear. But uh, I, I cannot avoid, because I see on my left two of the main actors of this program, uh, the former CEOs and DGs from uh, yes and NF, Mr. Mark and me and Mr. De Rienzo. <laughs> They actually have the visions of this program, so we, we, we are fully convinced that uh, without them we, we cannot achieve this goal today. But this is not an arrival point, but this is the starting point actually. Eh? We, we, we finalized the, the agreement, but we need to start. And the, we, we believe that the, the, the goal is quite aggressive, because we want to be into operation by 2015, but we will succeed. I'm fully confident of this. We will have two centers in French, in France, and one center in Italy with full flight baseline in operation by 2015. We will see in uh, June 2015 all together to say this opening of the room. And this is also uh, an engagement for the industry, as I'm for sure. Thank you very much for all of you to be here.